This is a Kurt calculator. This is a very rare machine. Only about two and a half thousand Kurt calculators were ever made. Not all of this exact same model. Uh, this is the model A2. It's the simplest model. Uh, the A means it's the basic model. And the 2 indicates what uh, capacity it has. This one has uh, 8 input columns, a counter with 8 digits, and a main register with 13 digits. Um, this is one of the uh, earliest ones of, uh, that was made because its uh, serial number is 159, 159. Uh, the serial numbers go up to about two and a half thousand. And um, yeah, it was manufactured by the uh, Deutsche Rechenmaschine Werke in Leipzig. Um, this was actually the company founded by Wilhelm Morel. Um, when Ernst Kurt uh, designed this machine in about 1920, he shopped around and eventually found Wilhelm Morel, who was uh, generally making speedometers and tachometers. Uh, those were used in cars and planes and lots of industrial applications as well. But uh, yeah, uh, Wilhelm Morel, he, I think he renamed his company Deutsche Rechenmaschinewerke. But it might also be the case that this is actually a, a daughter company or an offshoot. It also says here, uh, it's rubbed off, but it says uh, Wales Adding Machine Company. Uh, that is uh, a company that was uh, founded mostly for uh, distributing, importing and distributing uh, the Wales Adding Machine. But uh, yeah, that's actually a Swiss company uh, based in Schaffhausen. Uh, it's n I don't think it's actually officially uh, related to the uh, American Wales Attic Machine Company, except that it was founded to import those. Anyway, this machine has an unusual mechanism. It's very straightforward to use. Uh, you just enter a number, it has a, a display register here for the input and the crank here, you can turn that clockwise to add the number and that increments the counter or you can turn it anti-clockwise and that subtracts the number and decrements the counter. So it's almost just like a, a pinwheel machine. Uh, Calculators that look a bit like this tend to be uh, machines made with um, uh, stepped drums and those generally have a switch for uh, choosing between addition and multiplication um, and uh, subtraction. But this one is just turning the crank one way or the other. Uh, yeah, the uh, inputs um, isn't cleared at the moment, so you can just uh, turn the crank several times to do a multiplication and then shift the uh, carriage to do the multiplication in the uh, tens digit and so on. So I've multiplied this number by 123 and the results can be read up here. Yeah, the carriage shifts just with this lever, one step at a time. Or you can push it down and then slide it any amount. So as I said, this is, it's now set for multiplication, so this input is not cleared. So you have to clear it manually by pulling this uh, small red lever towards you. It's very clunky, that sound. Uh, if you shift this lever to the right, it it's, uh, can shift, shift to the right, then it's set for addition, so it automatically clears the inputs. So if I add this number, it clears it straight away for the next, uh, next number to be added. Uh, 
And uh, yeah, on the right here, it has two levers for clearing the counter and the register. You just uh, pull it forward for a half turn. Yeah, this lever sticks a little bit. I don't know why. I had to fix it altogether because it wasn't working at all when I got it. But I haven't managed to fix that uh, sticky point at the moment. Uh, there's a bell here that, uh, that rings when there's an overflow and an underflow. Let me, uh, let me subtract one. There we go. It pings because this digit overflowed. As you can see, it's not always totally working. Um, as I said, this has an unusual mechanism and it is actually a kind of pinwheel mechanism. But instead of the pins uh, moving outwards radially, they are deflected sideways. And I can show you this if I uh, enter 4 in this, uh, this column. You can see that this uh, piece of metal shifted for, uh, forwards a certain distance. And when I turn the crank, you can see here are the pins. And they get deflected. Four of them, in this case, get deflected to the left. So that they will interact with any digit that's above it. I've now shifted the carriage so far that there's nothing above it, but you can see very clearly see that these four pins have shifted to the left. These these pins freely move, and uh, yeah, so these uh, those are selected and would uh, drive the uh, number wheel. If you turn it the other way, the same thing happens. But uh, yeah, it's the four other pins for the four last pins that get selected this time, but uh, has the same effect. You can also see that these pins get uh, uh, reset uh, at the end of the turn. Let me move in closer. And uh, of course, if you enter another number than four, the, uh, this bar, this uh, piece of metal gets shifted a different amount and that selects more or fewer of those pins. So it's a really nice mechanism, but uh, yeah, the Kurz machine is the only one that ever used this. So this machine was first uh, put in production in around 1924. That's when they first exhibited it at the uh, Leipzig uh, Spring Fair. But uh, yeah, by 1927, the company was in financial trouble and it uh, was liquidated. Um, the, yeah, the remains of the company were bought by Brunsviga or Grimme Natalis. And, yeah, they didn't continue making uh, this machine. Uh, the original machine that Kurt designed was much more complicated than this. It had automatic multiplication and division, and had a memory register and back transfer, and could print out the results. And that complicated, machi complicated machine uh, was the first one that they, they made, but... Uh, yeah, they simplified it to to just this, and this is the one that was, uh, yeah, the most common one. Uh, most of those two and a half thousand were of this type. There was also the type AB, which is like this, but had back transfer. Uh, but yeah, the complicated machine, which was the US, uh, the Kurt US, uh, 
very few of those were ever made. Uh, I've only seen a picture of one of them. Uh, yeah, so this is a, a really interesting uh, rare machine, uh, the Kurt calculator. Thank you for watching.